Let's observe Jewish holidays, Passover. CBS News' Don Champion live outside Zabar is on the Upper West Side with last minute prep. Hey, Don. Good morning, Chris. Well, the annual celebration for Jews kicks off tonight with a festive meal, a meal that requires lots of preparation, meaning places like this store will be quite busy today. We're baking 25,000 boxes a day. From the mixer to boxing line, it's crunch time at Strites on the Lower East Side. Passover's coming uh, very soon, and for Passover, you have to eat matzah. You can't eat any leavened bread for eight days. The family-owned matzah maker ramped up production back in October to prepare for the Passover holiday, and special religious precautions are taken. The second the water and the flour touch, the whole process has to be done within 18 minutes. Uh, in order for it to be kosher for Passover, you can't give the bread time to arise. The process meant to replicate a key point in the Passover story when Israelites ate hastily baked flatbread during their exodus from Egypt. Tradition fills the eight-day festival of Passover, which begins with a ceremonial dinner known as a Seder at sundown tonight. During the meal, Jews eat and retell their story of liberation. There's a part in the Seder called the Karpas, where you dip um, a green vegetable in the salt water. Matzah. So you use a lot of potatoes on Passover for the chicken soup. Eat a lot of eggs. Macaroons, chocolate and marshmallows. Getting the house ready is an enormous task. Some families even bring out Seder plates and use Passover only pots, pans and utensils. Even at young ages, children are taught that this is a special holiday. Because we get to spend with families. Dip and celery in salt water is my, is my favorite part of Pesach. Always great to be with your family. We should mention that it, the NYPD does say it's stepping up efforts to ensure the safety and security of Jewish institutions during this Passover holiday. We're live in the Upper West Side, Don Champion, CBS 2 News.